Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So yesterday I share a YouTube on today's Wing Chun equal to Wang Chun. How is Wang Wa Bo's Wing Chun like? And uh, it is just not more than 24 hours. I have already got many messages from our Wing Chun friends worldwide. And uh, many of our Wing Chun friends asked me to elaborate what is today's Wing Chun, what is Wang Chun, and uh, what is the Wing Chun 1850? And what is the Wing Chun 1870, which is the Pro Ching Wing Chun? So today I like to share with you all of this thing is very clear now. And uh, so whatever really happened in the history, there always be a trace and there always somebody protected. Like in this case on Wing Chun, Wang Chun, you can see like a late grandmaster Tang Yat from that, from his records, we can see a lot of things. Now it is important to look into all these details. So let's start to get this thing clear once for all. Now today I'm doing this in Silicon Valley, the United States of America. It's not because of uh, I'm more capable than you all. It is just luck, faith. So if you look at late Grandmaster Tang Yat's life stories, you see how difficult it is. And so we here in America, we are very lucky we can see all this data. So it is heaven's will. It is the faith. It is not about I'm better than you. This is absolutely not that. On the other hand, you can see that Grandmaster Yip Man, prior to his passing, in his interview, he tried to clarify Wing Chun is not Shaolin Wang Chun with what he have in his hand. So all of those are the traits of his story. Uh, it is always there. Now, so first, we need to understand this Wing Chun, Wang Chun issue is actually not complex. So Wing Chun, we know it like in the previous video I shared with you, there is the Pro Ching Wing Chun and there's the Anti Ching Wing Chun. So Anti Ching Wing Chun is Wing Chun 1850. The Pro Ching Wing Chun is Wing Chun 1870. And we know today that the Wing Chun 1870 or the Pro Ching Wing Chun from all the writing and all different data, including uh, from late Grandmaster Tang Yat, we know that the Pro Ching Wing Chun, which is what today's Wing Chun based on, have a big part is 
from the Shaolin Wang Chun, the art of the Fei Loi Temple in the Canton. Now, so with this Pro Ching Wing Chun, there's only a fragmented part of the anti Ching Wing Chun content. And as we know that the anti Ching Wing Chun is based on the real Shaolin short strike art or sticking body short strike art. And that Shaolin sticking body short strike art is based on General Chi Chi Guang's Ming military training. So technically it is this solid. And we know that this Mui Ji Sim stories in Wing Chun, what we heard today or in the movie, are actually, at least until today, there is no evidence to prove that it is existing. For example, the Southern Shaolin from Fujian. Well, that is just a story. There is no technical details in Chinese history which can prove that. Where else the anti Ching Wing Chun 1850 have a direct line connections with the Shaolin, the Songshan Shaolin short strike of the end of Ming Dynasty? Now, that Shaolin is not today's. Shaolin in China is completely a different stuff. Okay? And you know that the Shaolin at the Ming uh, the, the end of the Ming dynasty is actually inherited from the Ming dynasty Chi Chi Guang's fighting up. It is this clear. So now let's look into Wing Chun. Today's Wing Chun. Let's look into today's Wing Chun at Grandmaster Yit Man's time, which is 50 years ago. 50 years ago. So, as in my previous video, actually, you can summarize the differences between the Shaolin Wang Chun, like from the Tang family. And what is taught to uh, by Yit Man, the Grandmaster Yit Man in Hong Kong. Now, why is it that the uh, Tang family, the transmissions of Tan Yat is so important? Because it is straight line penetrate to the Qing Yan Fei Lai Temple because it directly touching the Wong Wa Bo and Liang Yi Tai. So we know what type of art it is. Okay, so 50 years ago, in the era of Grandmaster Yip Man is teaching, the differences between Shaolin Wang Chun and Wing Chun from Grandmaster Yit Man is that Shaolin Wang Chun is more aggressive type. The Wing Chun taught by Grandmaster Yit Man is the defensive type. So if you look at the Tan Bong folk at that time, the Shaolin Wang Chun's, the Tan Bong folk is actually moving forward. It is aggressive, it is offensive. While the Wing Chun, as taught by Grandmaster Yin Man at that time, is defensive. Okay, is defensive. The Tan, the Bong, the folk. Now, 
if you look at this, you can see that the Shaolin Wing Chun and the Wing Chun per Grandmaster Iman's teaching, both Tan Pong Fok, the differences is one is forward going, which is the Shaolin Wing Chun is aggressive, offensive. The Wing Chun is defensive and it is in the receiving when they performing the Tan Pong Fu. So Grandmaster Yin Man in his interview have said that the Tan, the Bong, the Fu is receiving. So you can see from that the two different art Wing Chun and Wang Chun. Wang Chun is Shaolin Wang Chun is aggressive, offensive. The Tan Pong Fok is forward, charging in or pressuring in. While the Wing Chun per Grandmaster Yin Man is defensive and the Tan Pong Fok is receiving. Okay, so Grandmaster Ivan had defined that is receiving in his writing. So that's what happened. However, they both use the same Tan Pong Fok. And so the differences is one is aggressive, offensive, and one is defensive uh, using receiving. Okay, now if we go up toward Wong Wa Po, Leong Yi Tai, Tai Fa Ming Kam, Leong Zhan, that era, we can see that all of this is belong to the uh, Pro Ching Wing Chun era. And also, both Shaolin Wang Chun and the Wing Chun, or what we can see today, all the Wing Chun, is fighting in the close range. Close range, meaning that like the Qi Sao, like your wooden dami, there is the close range art. Okay, so both Shaolin Wang Chun and Wing Chun Pro Ching Wing Chun 1870 using the range like the Qi Sao today. Both using Tan Pong Fu. However, the Wang Chun is the aggressive, forward, uh, uh, trusting, even when they do their Tan Pong Fu and the Wing Chun for Grandmaster Iman is defend, chief is receiving. So this is the difference. And what we know is by his story is this Pro Ching Wing Chun, a big part of it is based on the Shaolin Wang Chun, which is from the uh, Cantons, the uh, Feiloi Temple. And then that uh, the Wing Chun, uh, the, the, sorry, the Shaolin Wang Chun from Feiloi Temple is not from Shaolin. So this is the reality of what 50 years ago, the characteristics of this both art. And you cannot deny that, that uh, the base, like the distance of fighting, your wooden dummy, your chi sao distance, and your tan bong fu. Those are really using the Shaolin Wang Chun's platform, where Wing Chun praised the spring, as Grandmaster Yi Man said, is tan bong fu is received. So that is the difference. 
Now, so it is based on the Shaolin Wang Chun platform. And the receiving, we know that is from the 1850s Wing Chun. Okay, the part of it. Like, uh, so, that is 50 years ago. Today, you look at that. Wing Chun have turned into structure and the forward pressure. If you look at the Grandmaster Yip Man's uh, interview, he said that the body is like rattan. It's not like today's the structure. And it has evolved into this structure and it evolved into forward pressure. And when you evolve today's Wing Chun into forward pressure, meaning you are actually going towards Shaolin Wang Chun's base. So this is the reality. So if people say uh, Wing Chun is Shaolin Wang Chun, most, most, most today will not be able to deny that. Grandmaster Iman, 50 years ago, tried to rectify that by talking about this receiving. So you, you, you separate between the Shaolin Wang Chun and the Wing Chun. Shaolin Eternal Spring and the, 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 the Praise the Spring, which is uh, Grandmaster Iman thought. So today, the entire world Wing Chun, by evidence, technically, it is based big, big, big portions on Shaolin Wang Chun. And in fact, it moved into the Shaolin Wang Chun when you introduce the forward pressures, those kind of things. No longer the receiving, like uh, Grandmaster Yiman said, no longer the rattan body like the Grandmaster Iman said, but it's structure pushing forward. So this is the, 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 the reality. So the conclusion is, since the development of the Pro Ching Wing Chun, in the time of Taifa Mingam, Wang Wa Po, Liang Yitai, it is based on Shaolin Wang Chun with a fractions of the 1850s Wing Chun, such as the receiving. However, the base is Shaolin Wang Chun. So Grandmaster Yiman is right that Wing Chun is not exact like Shaolin Wang Chun because of that receiving. Okay. However, today, when you don't have more receiving, you only have forward pressure, your tan sao become forward pressure. You know that is get into the Shaolin Wang Chun's technology. On another word, you are using Shaolin Wang Chun's technology, or you are using what is the pattern of the Shaolin Wang Chun. Admit it. This is the reality. Of course, in the evolution since uh, Grandmaster Yin Man, there are people who practice Tai Chi, namely Chen family Tai Chi, and start to uh, get in this uh, soft power. Uh, the body have to be erect, those kind of stuff. That's one part of evolution. Now, so it is not a secret te technically. From Wang Wa Po to today, Wing Chun is a very big part of Shaolin Wang Chun. And with the 1850s uh, Wing Chun's 
fragmented things there. So this had to be solved. This is what it is, historically, technologically. So you cannot deny anything, okay? So Grandmaster Yiman is right. Everything the same is only that receiving stuff. So because of the receiving stuff, the performance of the sets and everything is different from the Shaolin Wang Chun, but uh, you cannot deny what is the base. Now, let's talk about the Wing Chun at Grandmaster Yip Man's time and the 1850s Wing Chun. Remember, Grandmaster Yip Man saying that Tan Pong Fuk is about receiving. From that, we know the Wing Chun line from Leongzhan, this uh, Tai Fa Ming Gam, because Tai Fa Ming Gam students have a riding snake crane cigarette. We know that they do not see the entire picture of 1850s Wing Chun. Proof? Let me share with you the riding in the ancient, where it is a Shaolin base. This is a real Songshan Shaolin base at the end of Ming Dynasty. And you need that to understand the 1850s Wing Chun or anti Qing Wing Chun. So the first concept we need to understand or the idea, the design idea we need to understand is it is actually already translated in my book, the Wing Chun Matrix. You take a snapshot here. Take a snapshot of this. So, over here, he said that dodge to dissipate the force which could move mountain. Soar, shift, and shoot into the opponent at the same instant, taking advantage of the opponent's opening. Concessions without conceding is, absurd, is exceptional. Always face the opponent when one dodge and turn. Always face the opponent when one dodge and turn. It is Qin Chong San Fat. You issue your strike from your heart position. Concession, uh, concession without conceding is the key, the name of the game of Wing Chun 1850, the short strike, which I'm going to share with you more. However, we need to get into this first. Because we need mechanics to implement the idea of concess, uh, concession without conceding. And the, the idea of uh, you, 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 you face your opponent with your heart. So in my book, Beginning Wing Chun. Again, take a snapshot. So, it is saying that long comes short except habitually close in. Or long come short receive habitually closing. Meaning, he strike from a long distance and uh, you accept it or you receive it and you habitually you need to close in and then it also say how to the uh, do after the close in close in take down is sp uh, surprisingly stunning you close in there's takedowns and they are sweeping and all the stuff and then he said that inward wrapping open up left and right corner. Inward wrapping open up left and right corner. Outward wrapping strike in searching for the chest. This is all technical to implement concess, concession without concessing. And your heart always pointing at your opponent. 
So, as you heard from this, long coming shot received habitually close into the opponent's body. If we read Grandmaster Yip Man's interview on receiving, Han Kong Fu is receiving, we know the receiving is missing the close in. Long coming, short receive, and close in. So what is this like? Say this is our usual qi sao or wooden dami distance. This is called close body. It's not a sticking body. Long coming, short receive, meaning that he struck me. I'm using concession without conceding. I get in right away. I receive him. Like this is a tan sao. What I'm receiving, my body has to go in. Okay? So long coming, short receive, habitually close in. This is what it is, okay? For sticking body short strike. Your body stick with it. That's why over here, you can have four weapons there. Your leg attacking him, your body attacking him, and your both arm attacking him. And the position at this time is actually, you actually jamming this hand, this hand. And you put this hand into defensive where you are internal inside there and uh, in offensive positions. This is sticking body short strike. Okay, so it is concessed without conceding because when he shot at you, you receiving, you get in. Okay. And you're actually using your forearm here, your leg arm, your body arm, two arm to, 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 to stick the hell out of him and to put him into a defensive position. Now, when you go in, your heart is actually targeting the opponent. So as uh, just now I read for you, you go for the angle in or in the outward, you get in your heart and actually you are penetrating to his center line here. It is not like today's. So as it say here, Inward wrapping open up left and right corner. Outward wrapping strike in the searching of the chest. It is meaning going through this angle. Take a snapshot. Okay. This is inside. This is from inside. And there's another one uh, which is uh, from outside. Okay. So that is what is the uh, inward wrapping open up left and right corner, outward wrapping strike in the search within the chest. So meaning that when you close in, this is very important. You want to be in this position. So you actually make him defensive. You attack him with your forearm. And the entire thing is concess without concessions. It's not like the straight line you go like today. So that's 1850s Wing Chun. Now, from Grandmaster's Yip Man's interview, you know that the receiving 
the tan bong fok is receiving is there, but it has missing the close in and the angle of the close in or the shoot in as I have shared in other videos. And also this positioning, this how close it is. Okay. So that is the proof that the Pro Ching Wing Chun, they only have bit and piece of the 1850s Wing Chun. They only have this, like the Tan Pong Fok hand techniques, but they don't talk about this shoot in, your leg attack, your body attack, you put it in the defensive positions, you're limiting him. It doesn't have that. Okay. So, like in the movie, usually people talk about Wing Chun is Kip San Twin Da, sticking body shot strike. However, you can see in all the movie for past 50 years, none of it is going into this. Because right now we know, based on all this data from Wing Chun, Pro Wing Chun, uh, Pro Ching Wing Chun, and from Shaolin Wang Chun, such as the, from Tang family, they are all the art of this distance. Okay, so so that is what is the reality of this Pro Ching Wing Chun. Now, so you might ask me, if I just do receiving here, isn't it valid? Well, actually it's not valid. Why? This is the distance that it is very mobile. I can receive and strike him. He's going to turn and change and go run away. It's a dynamic, this distance. So the short strike Wing Chun, the, the thinking body short strike, the the the, the uh, uh, Tip San Tuin Ta, is receiving to mean to get into this position to jam the hell out of him to put him into a defensive position. Unless you put in him into the defensive position, receiving here is not good enough. If I could do a bong, a, a bong like that, you're open for a three-dimensional attack. But you, when you get in like that, you just limit the hell out, you jam him. Okay, so that is 1850 Wing Chun versus the, uh, the, 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 the Pro Ching Wing Chun 1870. So Pro Ching Wing Chun 1870 only have this receiving. It doesn't have all the shoot in and the angling and the body occupied him to jam him. So hopefully what I will explain to you in this video on Shaolin Wang Chun and Pro Ching Wing Chun which is Pro Ching Wing Chun is based on the Shaolin Wang Chun from the Fei Lai Temple, a big part. And then the differences between the Pro Ching Wing Chun, which have some content of the uh, anti Ching Wing Chun. So we know that even in the Grandmaster Yiman time, from the uh, Leong Zhan lineage, from the uh, uh, Taifa Mingam lineage in this Wing Chun, Pro Ching Wing Chun, it doesn't, it no longer have the body technology of the 1850s Wing Chun. Of course, you can say that Pro Ching Wing Chun is a new creation based on Shaolin Wang Chun and uh, using the receiving of the 18 Wing Chun, 1850s or the anti Ching Wing Chun. That's valid. But you can see that all this difference today, technically. So this is what I like to share with you. Okay. One other thing is, for example, it's just the opening of the Xiu Lim Tao. We know that the Shaolin Wang Chun and the Wing Chun Today's Wing Chun and Pro Ching Wing Chun, they are the same deal. Because you're going down, 
You can see people often doing this, people doing this. Those type of design is not no longer following the qi breathing and meridians like the pro uh, like the anti ching 1850 where you're going down using the yin meridian you're coming up using the yang meridian while you inhale going down exhale yin meridian uh, meridians or yin channel going up yang channel and inhale you look at Shaolin Wang Chun or the Pro Ching Wing Chun is always doing this, doing this, doing this. They are not having that Qi Meridian technology of 1850s Wing Chun, which is based on Er Mei Er Zhuang. And with this, you can also see from the technical detail I just shared with you. It is nothing to do with Shaolin, Southern Shaolin in Fujian or White Crane of Fujian. It's a totally, completely different art. Okay. So, today with the right time, uh, with the blessing of the heaven, we can break the entire thing in America. And this is what it is. Beside with all the stories of who passing to who, who passing to who, it doesn't matter what is the claim of who passing to who. Where is the beef? As uh, we in America say, where is the beef? We want to look into the technology and trace it up. So the approach, uh, the anti Ching Wing Chun is like the uh, Okinawan Bubishi. You can trace up to Chi Chi Guang. As for Mui Ji Sim, Southern Shaolin, what is the, the art in the Story of China, or you say that the white crane from Fujian snapping the body and so forth. How is it applicable into close in sticking body short strike? It doesn't fit in. So, Wing Chun 1850 is not Shaolin Wing Chun, Wing Chun 1850 is not white crane Wing Chun. Shaolin Wang Chun is a close body art, not a sticking body art. White Crane from Fujian is a close body art, not a sticking body art. Southern Shaolin, tell me what is the art. Okay, so it is this clear now. And I hope that people who are really serious on the technology of Wing Chun be able to, to know this with this video. And uh, so over here, I'm not saying that who is right, who is wrong, who is what, who is the grandmaster. I don't. Because this is all what matter is technology. And it's not necessary to pull the, 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 the ranking or lineages. Like in the past 100 years. If you look at, say, for example, Shaolin Wang Chun. You can see right away the Tang family stand out. Why? Because it's a direct line from the uh the the the, the Wong Wa Bo era which is Tai Fa Ming Gam era even before that before Liang Zhan coming down. So there's a value historical and technical value and you can see Grandmaster Tang Yat have preserved so much technical details. 
On the other hand, in Wing Chun, we can see the snake crane secret note by the uh, student of the Tai Fa Ming Gam. All the content, what is practiced there? This is a solid thing. It's in writing. On the 1850 Wing Chun, actually you can see from the Cho family, direct line to today. Okay. So you can see all this thing is very untouchable, uh, meaning undistorted information is there. And this cannot be replaced by making a claim. I am the uh, grandmaster of this lineage, grandmaster of that lineage. Show me what you have, technically. So, this is for you all. I know this might shock everybody. Because right now, just with all this, what I share with you, you can see who do what. And if you are doing Shaolin Wang Chun style, you cannot deny it. If you say your Wing Chun have forward pressure in your Tan Sao, you know those are Shaolin Wing Chun things. And made it. So I open this up for everybody. It is a responsibility to clear this thing up. 